Hey Virgo, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we're delving into whatever comes out. So take it if it's your story, leave it if it isn't. Any and everything that has to do with myself or the channel will be down below in the description box. I do want to say thank you for all of the support of any kind, whether it's just likes, subscribes, or bookings. You know, I appreciate it all, okay? So let's go ahead and delve into the energy crowning for Virgo's read today. Please and thank you. Okay, Virgo, the bottom deck is I am safe in the universe and all life loves and supports me. All right, we also have I am in the process of positive change. So I feel like, Virgo, you're in this transitional period where you're learning that you are safe and protected in the universe. You're learning to like think healthy thoughts. You know, not repetitive, negative thinking. Okay, I feel like you're breaking out of that cycle. It says, I release all fears and doubts. Okay, I see a lot of transformative energy here as well. I also see, I see clearly. I'm hearing, I can see clearly now that the rain is gone. I feel like you are approaching a period in your life where you have overcome some toxicities. But not only that, you have overcome some hard, challenging times. Okay. And I feel like now is the time to welcome in the protection of the universe, to welcome in positivity into your life, okay? So what else can I tell Virgo? Please and thank you, Spirit. Okay, I see you coming in this emperor-like energy. I see you providing for your children. I see you providing for those in need around you, okay, that are close to you. Okay, a lot of third-party energy here. A lot of uh, people, places, or things that you're tied to, you know, that pull and tug on you responsibility wise. And I see you fighting for your happiness. Okay. Yeah. You're facing some type of clarity here. We literally see that. I see clearly. Okay. With the ace of swords here. So I feel like you're thinking about what means the world to you. What makes you most happy, you know, out of all the responsibilities that you have to take care of. And now you're thinking back to the past. Now you have like some type of nostalgia here. Why the six of swords? Why the six of cups and the ace of swords with the, oh, so the six of swords comes out. Okay. <laughs> so look, um. I'm really getting the energy of you wanting to fix things with someone in your past, okay? But you're not speaking about it, okay? This is talking about wanting to temper out your emotions and your feelings, okay? Wanting to run back to the same situation again, um, but you're not, okay? I feel like you want to rush in back to the same situation, but you choose to kind of sit and observe for a second. Sit and see if this is really for you. Should you repeat a cycle that you have been repeating over and over again? I see you deciding to be a little bit more patient about what you choose to invest in. Not jumping up the moment somebody needs you. Okay, because Virgo, I feel like that's your love language. You're like, you, you, you be there for people. You try to help any way that you can. You know, you're like service to others. But at the same time, I see you holding back from that. Okay, putting yourself first for once. All right, really realizing like what means the world to you, what makes you happy, really standing in your power. And I feel like people are noticing you. Okay, the right people are noticing you now that you're standing in your truth. The right people that you need to be given to or the people that will actually give you equal give and take, they're able to come into your life because you're given this transparent like energy, like you know who you are and what you're here to do. With the King of Wands here, I see you being very passionate towards this. New investments, okay? You could be trying to invest in different stocks or different um, businesses or entrepreneurships or betting, you know, it's like that type of energy here where you're passionate about investing in something different. With the King of Swords, here. I even see you using logic here. Okay. You're not getting too flamboyant here, but I also see you having like a logical side behind that passion and that drive. Okay. And with the Knight of Wands here, you know exactly when to leave a situation. Okay. When to get out, when to cash that bet out. Okay. When to cash that stock out. With the strength card here, I see a lot of confidence here, a lot of confidence with how you'll move towards this longevity how you move towards this abundance long term, okay? Knowing when to let go of some things that are for you and when to apply pressure for things that are. I see you being a little bit vulnerable here um, because you're single. For a lot of you, all, I feel like you're newly single, okay? And you're welcoming in this abundance, you know? 
a lot of times you think back to this family dynamic. Look, my whole thing finna fall over. <laughs> Trying to tell you something here. Hold on. Sorry about that, Virgo. This must be a big change for you. Because look, this was before when you were unstable in your emotions. And now you're putting yourself first. Okay, you could feel like you're missing out on an opportunity because of this. Okay, because there could be some type of arguing and fighting, some type of competition here where you felt abandoned by this individual that you want to go towards. All right, but it's like being single and letting your guard down to yourself. Okay, being honest with yourself. Like, look, you know, maybe this just wasn't for you, you know, and learning how to. Block things out that aren't for you. Like, it's like this type of energy where this person wasn't satisfied. Look, by whatever it was that you were trying to offer them, they just were never satisfied because this wasn't meant to go long term, okay? I feel like you were giving more to this person than what you were receiving, okay? And now you're blocking that out. This competition is no more because you're having a new beginning, okay? You're leaving this angry person or this jaded person or this person that you've grown apart from. You're leaving them in the past, okay? And I feel like they said some hurtful words to you, all right? This could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius type of energy, even a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I see all signs here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. So, I feel like it's something that you did to this person, like in an argument, you probably said something, but they said something as well. Okay, it's just like an energy of like you needing to move past this because it's like a repetitive cycle. It's like you go back to this individual and then things go left eventually because maybe you're meant to grow outside of that. Maybe the time has come for you to leave this in the past. Okay, a new opportunity is going to go come towards you, Virgo. Okay, and it's going to be up to you to go within to decide if you really want this. Okay, to pass this judgment. All right with the choices that are presented in front of you, all right? Will you choose to let the past hold you back? Okay, what is being hidden from Virgo, please and thank you? Catfish, okay, someone's not who they appear to be. I feel like only time will tell who this individual is, you know, but I definitely feel like you have an individual in your life that's fake news. They were lying, they were giving fake news. They weren't exactly who they said that they were, you know? I feel like, you know, this is coupled with energy of a partnership that you have with someone and then other individuals that take your kindness for weakness. All right. Somebody here is gaslighting you. It's like they want something from you. And it's like they want your time, effort, your money, your finances, your abundance, anything that you have to offer. It's like they want that. Okay. Stable woman, they have their shit together. Let's see. Someone avoids you or vice versa. There's an energy here. It's like, it's like Virgo, I'm seeing two energies here. I'm seeing you have someone in your energy that is for you. Okay, that you feel like is for you. They are stable, but they're avoiding you. Okay, and then you have this other energy that wants to use you. Okay, that's what you can't see. Something is going to come out where somebody, let me get clarity. Yeah, someone can't see through a situation. See, you feel like this stable woman actually is just one person, okay? You feel like this stable feminine energy um, that's avoiding you, you feel like they're actually a lot more stable, you know, than what they really are. This person is gaslighting you with fake news when they come around. They're really like a catfish, okay? I feel like you're going to see through this. See, someone's still caught up with the ex or needing to ex people out that are toxic. This is that individual that you need to ex out of your life. See, making amends, resolving a misunderstanding. It's like you want to resolve a misunderstanding with the ex that you really need to just break things off with. Quite frankly, you need to cleanse your space, your phone, and yourself, okay? I feel like a cycle is wrapped up because this person is never satisfied. They always are going to want more. Remember, we talked about that earlier in the read, okay? Okay. I feel like you even have witnessed a betrayal when it comes towards this individual, right? This person um, is doing some type of abuse. It's like some type of conditioning for you, Virgo, that you need to break away from. All right. And know that this person is coming. They're angry. Okay. Why is this person angry? Because people have been in their ear, giving unsolicited, unsolicited opinions and 
feedback and advice, okay, about a soulmate connection. So that, like I said, this could have been, for some of you all, it's two energies, okay? It's like, it's like you could be pushing away the person that is really for you because you're trying to make amends with a past situation that is no longer for you. Take it how it resonates. I'm getting like an energy where even for some of you all, it's someone that you really thought like was a good person for you, but they're steadily catfishing you. Having you believe that things would work out when they don't in the end. It's like this person uses you. It's a cycle of this continuously. But I feel like you're breaking out of this cycle. You're starting to see clearly. You will have a new beginning as you release this past. As you decide to not make amends with this person anymore. Okay? For some of you all, making amends with this person is literally pushing the person away that's for you. Okay? Some of you all literally just need to cleanse your space, your energy, okay? And have a little bit of time just with your thoughts and decide what it is that you really want to do. See, I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. That's your advice. See the good in all things and have the patience and accept that things happen in divine order, okay? Know that nothing here is at a loss for you. Know that the universe provides and supports you, okay? In every decision that you make. I understand that losing something is is an opportunity to appreciate it. So you felt like you lost out on love. Okay. Is it, there is going to be another time in your life where you're going to be open to receiving and giving love again, but it will be more beneficial for you. It will be different. Okay. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn here. Okay. It's like nothing here is taken in granted, taken for granted or taken in vain. See, with gratitude, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. But it's like if you didn't have that adversity there, then would those opportunities present themselves? Lastly, we have I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. OK, I feel like you're finding peace as you decide to move forward and detach from all types of third parties. OK, I release the need to know all the answers and I feel like you're releasing that doubt. OK, and you honor the physical vessel that enshrines your soul. OK, there is an energy of you. Deciding to put yourself first. A lot of you all are really stressed out, okay? And I feel like the moment that you start to put yourself first and stop giving to others when it's like you can't pour from an empty cup, okay? And for some of you all, you're literally depleting yourself to the point where you're not having any sleep, to the point where you're stressed out and you're anxious, okay? Prioritize your time a lot better. See clearly and know that the universe supports you wholeheartedly, okay? So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support as always. Till then, peace and love.